This is my portable writing ruler. So I've been using the Remarkable 2 as my main writing notebook. I've kind of accumulated a few pens. They kind of need a home, so I've been searching for a pouch or something to keep them in, doing a little bit of research on that. And in doing so, I kind of perused my own inventory here and I came across this. An old pouch that I kind of put together to hold all of the bare essentials to writing in case in an extreme emergency I'm headed out on a journey at a moment's notice and I only have time to grab literally one thing. This is what I would grab. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. Now, I haven't opened this thing in quite some time, so I'm assuming it's going to need updates of some sort. Maybe different notebooks or different pens, but I'm going to open it up and check it out and show you what's inside, what I generally keep in a to-go pouch, which is what I hope to put together for my new digital accumulation of things. And I did all this digital stuff to... Uh, cut down on the excess coming into my life, but I digress. That is a topic for another video. So let's get on with this one. What is in my writing roll? Okay, really quickly about the pouch itself. It is a full canvas pouch with this leather string wrapped around to hold it closed. It's actually quite high quality canvas. I would say it, it feels really durable, really tough. And even the leather string is like a thick leather with a smooth end on this side and the rough out on this side. The stitching is really well made. I've had this pouch for, I don't know, maybe seven years now, and it's gone through different variations of things. It once was a medical pouch. And I've kind of switched things around, carried it with me in a bag for quite some time. And this is what the inside looks like. I should probably tell you who up the bag is from, who the bag is from. It is from Bradley Mountain. It's got this really nice leather tag here. The canvas probably rolled up with the materials inside really grabbed my attention. I believe it was originally meant to be a smoking pipe, a pipe smoking roll. Nothing much to hold it closed besides this string when everything else is sort of tucked away. On this side, we've got um, some writing utensils. I've got a pencil here. I find pencils a really nice tool to have. They're pretty durable and kind of really reliable. The eraser is still intact. Next up, we have two of my favorite pens. Well, they're the same pen, just different colors. This is Lay Pen. They're not so much of pens as they are like felt tip markers, similar to the Sharpie markers. I like the thinner pen types. I feel like it sits really pleasantly in the hand. The true test, if this is a reliable pouch, is if somewhere within these compartments we find a sharpener because not really great um, use to have a pencil if there's no sharpener. But anyway, let's get on with it. I do feel that there are some things in here. Ah, this is nice. This is a really nice tin. I had found in a, one of them calligraphy packets. Really hardy. I like the logo, so I decided to keep it. And for a long time, I didn't know what I was going to put in it. After getting the Caveco Sport, I realized this was a perfect container to hold the Caveco ink capsules. Ah, yes, the trusty sharpener. A very tiny, simple, yet effective sharpener. Let's see, let's just pull the whole thing out. I think that's everything. Um, yeah, so I have some loose index cards, just in case I need to write something on an index card. And I've got this very small pocket notebook. I think it's actually even smaller than a normal sized pocket notebook. This is a notebook from Baron Fig. And it's great to have a notebook in your to-go pouch because, well, that's what you need to write on. I could see upgrading to a different book, maybe something a little more calligraphy pen friendly because it's not so great for that. But anyway, that's what's in here. Have anything else in that packet? 
Now that pocket is clear. And now let's just pull this whole thing out. All right. Um, and lastly, I have some band-aids because you can never be too prepared when you're a writer um, and you may need a band-aid for your cut finger. Originally, this was meant to be my letter writing role because at the time I was writing letters to my sister and when she would send me a letter and I wanted to write back, I just kind of wanted to grab the role to sort of have my setup all contained. Um, but I found that the envelopes didn't really fit in the role and a few other things didn't fit in the role. We were kind of sending art pieces back and forth. The only thing that really fit were these letter pages and of course these stamps. So I kind of kept these in here because I thought, well, maybe in an occasion that I need to write a letter and send it off while I'm on a journey somewhere, I have some stamps. And this is the letter pa paper that I use to write on. And that's it. Um, I told you it could probably use some updates. It's definitely not um, top tier, but it is actually pretty solid. So there you have it. That is what is in my on-the-go writing pouch. Again, something I would probably update. I could see changing out that notebook, the Baron Fig notebook, with maybe a durable sort of field notes kind of style notebook, something that's a little more weatherproof, especially if this is with the idea of being a traveling on-the-go sort of piece. Um, but that is it. So maybe when I get a pouch for the Remarkable, you will see how I set that one up. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you like this video or content like this, because I've got uh, plenty more where that came from. And that's, that's it. Everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll be seeing you.